Hello everyone, welcome to the Big Shift Vlog, which I have been talking about from a long, 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 long time on Instagram. Like, uh, look out for it in my Big Shift Vlog, coming up in my Big Shift Vlog, Big Shift Vlog, Big Shift Vlog, Big Shift Vlog. Finally, here it is. First, intro. Hi, my name is Siri, and I have multiple sclerosis. And the story goes like this. The symptoms began showing up long, 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 long ago. Yes. Like I remember uh, having my first attack with a symptom when I was in college. Everybody thought it was sciatica. Doctors also thought it was sciatica. And one doctor prescribed me Benadryl. So after that again it kept popping up time and time again. Everybody thought it was sciatica and ignored it. And then I got married and just two months after marriage, both my hands gone. I could not hold a thin leaf or paper or nothing. I went to an orthopedic. Orthopedic did lots of physiotherapy. Uh, and uh, he said it was tennis elbow it's not going the pain is not going okay he injection which was a steroid injection so it calmed the pain down and then i was fine then after a few months when i was in a mall and after we finished all the shopping food entertainment everything we were about to leave home that's when i fainted Nobody understood what happened. They brought me home and when I woke up, I noticed that I could not move my legs. Oh my god. Nobody understood. What's happening again? We went to another orthopedic who took an x-ray and told that this was this happens at this age. You must have played some badminton or something. Uh, that is when this happens, the blah 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 something he explained. Okay. And we took some pills he prescribed and came back home and then again after a while I could not walk my walk was gone I lost it in that moment we thought allopathy was useless it was proving useless and so they took me to an Ayurvedic center where they gave me oh this many medicines after eating so many Ayurvedic pills, I used to feel so much like oh, pain in my stomach. It was like hararat hone lagi pet mein. But I was so feeling so uncomfortable. I took it for such a long time, like many months, like almost eight months. Uh, no use, nothing. Only a little bit I could walk better. Again, it was gone. <laughs> Fast forward, we shifted to homeopathy, yeah. which worked far better than any of those two kind of medicines. So I continued those. Whatever uh, was going wrong in the body, I used to tell to the doctor and he used to give me medicine and I used to have them and I used to be alright. And I survived like that until 2020. Covid happened. And that time I saw hell, I was not able to put my foot down. They were like jelly going off like this, this, this. Imagine a jelly man walking. I was walking like a jelly man. And that is when a doctor whom my dad knew suggested that I go to a neurologist and take IMRI. That is when we got IMRI and that is when lesions popped up. And they diagnosed me with multiple sclerosis, 100% multiple sclerosis. Before that, they were just thinking that it was that, but nobody confirmed it, nobody suggested it. So that's the story until 2020. And even after that, we decided that until now, homeopathy has been working awesome. So we'll continue that. So until now, that is until uh, around two weeks ago, I was on homeopathy. Everything was almost fine. That is when this had started. Meow face. Hmm. Where my legs started purring like hell until here I was feeling the purr and oh god, I was going mad. Uh, my homeopathy doctor prescribed a 
few meds which seemed to be working well but then it was kind of coming back again and again and again and then one day this happened my vision went blur i was like i was seeing things from far away but i'm not able to like read anything or uh, see, look at any defined things on it like words or anything defined it was like a blurry image everything was a blurry image and that is when i thought okay this is not happening not happening i am going to a neurologist something is definitely wrong i went i was right to new lesions pop pop popped up on the mri which says that the homeopathy is not stopping any progression no it was just helping with my symptoms that's it progression was on totally on full on and the neurologist was like wait up katappa scene is still pending what is katappa you ask <laughs> imagine i was the bahubali and the doctor was the katappa lumbar puncture yeah that happened it was hell hell it was hell mri was no less that was another hell okay anyways they confirmed they wrote a written report that this is confirmed multiple sclerosis and you need treatment asap otherwise progression will continue and you will go more disabled i didn't want that no i'm so sorry i don't know if this blurry thing will go or not doctor was saying that it may stay with you forever i don't know what's going to happen kind of scared but i'm staying courageous believing that no such thing is going to happen the treatment whatever we're going to start is going to help me please help me how many ever fingers i could cross i am crossing and just going to go forward with the treatment now okay we're going bacha le menu so now the doctor is going to put me on disease modifying drugs which will modify the way the cells are acting on damaging my nerves this drug is going to prevent b cell from giving the wrong signal to the t cell uh so that it won't go and attack my myelin sheath which covers the nerve myelin sheath that is what it keeps eating up the t cell it won't make it do this that anymore this test was to confirm optical neuritis which later did get confirmed meaning my optical nerve was indeed damaged hence the sudden onset of blurry vision and then i had to undergo ncv which is nerve conduction velocity test jahan mujhe jhatke diye gaye the like medium level electric shocks yeah to figure out what was happening in my purring legs in case you forgot what purring legs are see this my legs have started purring just like a cat the doctor never said what he figured out but he did prescribe medicines which are kind of helping and kind of not we'll see where the whole thing goes after my first rituximab infusion so it seems that this drug is very effective in controlling the progression and i will have to just take a yearly shot first it will start with weekly shots and then monthly and then it becomes yearly so this week it's going to happen we'll have to see how my body reacts to this drug hoping that nothing's going to go wrong believing that nothing's going to go wrong i'm done with hoping i'm done with i'm done with hoping i am purring like 10 cats as i speak so see you all it's the update after my rituximab have shot that's the drug doctor is going to put me on that's the disease modifying drug all these days my doctor put me on steroids to bring my aggravated symptoms down so that he can go forward with the main drug for ms and another very well known side effect of a corticosteroid is weight gain and i asked the doctor oh my god how 
much weight am I going to put on? And is it going to be forever? And the doctor said, you need not worry. As we taper the dose of the steroids down, your weight will also go down. Okay? Don't worry. The first heavy dose of corticosteroid did give me a moon face. Yes. And I did put on 2.5 kg weight. But as you can see from this to this, I have reduced. Mm. I actually like this. Bubbly cheeks. What do you think? Do you like it? Comment below. And one important, most important skinzy update. I've got two more sessions left but the doctor had told me not to go forward until he says so because I'm going to go on a disease modifying drug which will reduce my immunity and getting such a procedure done could prove dangerous. So this is going on a halt for a while. So please do not expect any update on SkinZ until whenever my doc permits. I'll, I'll keep you updated. Uh, just keep checking my community post or shorts or Instagram. That is why you should follow me on Instagram. Follow me here. So that's the big shift from homeopathy to allopathy. I'm, I'm calling it big because you must have heard all the stories about steroids, like how bad they are, what all horrible things they can do. Yeah, that is why I could never go forward with allopathy. Because in allopathy, I got to know that they were going to put me on steroids. So what if something else goes wrong? I was scared. Anyone will be, right? I was already a gone case. And if steroids does extra damage, I'll be good for nothing. So that's the big shift from homeopathy to allopathy. Yes, it is a big shift. I don't know when I'll be fully packed with creating content that is supposed to go up on this channel. I don't know. I don't know. So we'll see how it goes, where it goes, when it happens. I don't know. Hoping you'll all stay with me. Love you all. See you. Bye bye.